<laughs> Hang loose, dudes. Front porch. Savinelli. Tabare. I think that's how you pronounce it. Full of Devil's Holiday. Which I had to rehydrate. I like it. Very good stuff. Of course, I got my obligatory coffee. But it's not Kona this morning. I'm going to drink that sparingly. Still good coffee. It's a uh, Chevalier. Something my wife orders. Good stuff. But I'm enjoying this devil ho devil's holiday very much. I've been looking for a, a good cherry blend. And um, I've tried, I don't know, three or four. I've been watching Nick and his pipes, his talk on uh, his various comments on... Uh, cherry tobaccos but I've yet to find one that appealed to me and I like cherry otherwise I mean I like cherry in sweets I like cherry in pastries I like cherries uh, ice cream I mean I like cherries so I would have thought I'd really adore some cherry tobacco I just haven't found one that didn't taste like a mess of chemicals smoking buddy one's out here Got me plenty of critters to keep me company. But anyway, this Devil's Holiday was suggested. And uh, while I like it very much, I certainly would not consider this a, uh, a cherry tobacco. It's very berry-y. I mean, it's got a great berry flavor. But not cherry. It's um, I don't know, raspberry maybe. Whatever it is, it's a very light, fruity. I'd say a very good um, summertime smoke. But I'm enjoying it. That's the bottom line. I got this tobacco as a gift. A few weeks ago, I went to Houston to do a wedding. My best friend's uh, daughter was getting married. And so he, had, he and his wife had asked me to perform the ceremony, which I was more than happy to do. I was actually very honored to do. And he went out to a tobacco store and uh, wanted to buy me a gift of some tobacco. And he found this Devil's Holiday there, and he thought that was going to be so funny to give a priest the Devil's Holiday. And so when he handed it to me, he was waiting for this great reaction, and all I said was, oh, I've been wanting to try this. And he was like, you've already heard of it? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> so he was somewhat disappointed. He shouldn't have been because I'm loving it and I do appreciate the gift. We'll say this. While I enjoy it, it probably um, would not become a, a daily blend. I could see keeping it in my rotation for um, occasions like this. But I don't, um, it wouldn't become my regular go-to blend by any stretch. But if someone said, would you recommend it? I would say absolutely. If you like a kind of a berry flavored aromatic. Not much of a nicotine hit to it. I 
And there's a little bit of a an aftertaste that is not entirely pleasant. Kind of a perfumey aftertaste. Which just sort of hangs on your palate. But overall, the tobacco on a scale of five stars, I'd give it three, at least two and a half, two and a half to three. But I'm still in search of the cherry tobacco that will float my boat. If anybody knows of any, give me a shout. Bye.